There he comes. There he comes. There he comes. There he comes. There he is. There he is. Nicer fish too. Saw that one. Welcome to another episode of Bass with Captain Lou. Guys, I'm out in the marshlands again. The fishing is tough. I've been out here for a few hours. I've only caught myself a handful of fish so far. I think I may have figured them out, but you gotta stick around and watch the video. And also, sometime, somewhere throughout the video, I'm giving out a free charter trip. So you gotta watch the, the entire video to see when I'm asking the question to give a free four-hour charter. It's the first time I'm doing this, but our community is growing. I'm very happy with its growth so far. So to my subscribers, the first subscriber that answers the question that I'm going to ask sometime throughout the video, you're going to win yourself a free four-hour charter with me out in the Everglades. So stick around and watch the entire video. Oh, this is a nice fish right off the bat. Oh my goodness, this is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. This is how you start the morning. You start the morning like that. <laughs> oh man, look at this beauty right here. Look at this. That was a great start to the morning. I just like taking a, 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 you know, a few casts just to test the, 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 the fish's mood. Again, I started with a swim bait. Sure enough, I, can, I, can, I continue where I left off, fishing along the reeds like I did uh, last week. And I saw this wake come from way behind, like five yards away, slowly following my swim bait. And then I decided to kill it. And then all of a sudden I saw the line jump and swim away. I set the hook and it was that beauty. So great start to the morning. Let's see if that sets the trend for today. All right, gang, so here's what's happening. The fishing activity is not, it's not active right now. So I'm, I'm trying different things, but I keep coming back to the swim bait because the bigger fish so far, it's two decent fish today. So I'm, I think I'm gonna stick with the swim bait, even though I am seeing bass swimming below. So I'm in one of those situations right now, but the bigger ones keep hitting the swim bait. So I'm gonna stick around and see, uh, see what happens here. If there's anything that I could teach you guys following my videos, especially when it comes to swim bait, because I know I've been doing swim bait fishing a lot lately, and that's because it's working. But if there's anything I could teach you guys is to always keep your eye on the swim bait, especially when the water's this calm. This is like glass calm. So I, like I mentioned to you guys several videos ago, and I'll, and I'll put that up above, learning your, your wake characteristics of your swim bait. In this particular case, I know the type of wake this type of swim bait's throwing off, but if there's anything different, I know that it's a fish or it's a bass rather so I went ahead and slowed down and sure enough I was rewarded so always keep an eye on your swim bait and see what's and, and see what's happening around it something I never talked to you guys about is rod position and it hit me now I'm talking to you guys rod position when you guys are doing swim bait fishing it's very important when you have uh, vegetation. So in this particular case, I got a lot of uh, reeds and like uh, pepper grass and stuff like that. So I want to keep my bait above the target or above that target area. I don't want the bait to dig into the grass. So what I'll do is I'll just take a long cast and then I'll start with my rod up high enough so that my bait stays on the surface, right? And then I match my, my real cadence with where it is in the water column and as it starts to approach i start lowering my rod tip and still maintain that bait on top of the water if you guys can see that let me take another cast and, and show you guys see you start with the rod tip up see and it skims on top of the water you see the wake you slow down and, and, and adjust your cadence accordingly to keep the bait on the water. And then as it starts approaching, you start lowering the rod tip and still maintain that cadence and your, and your swim bait stays on top of the water. And that's how I use the swim bait and keep it on top of the surface. There he is. Little guy. Little guy. Little. So it's been asked why I, why I set so hard on little fish. And the reason for it really honestly is because I don't know if it's a little fish. In the, on the, in the same water that I'm currently fishing, eight pounders, six pounders, big bass swim along these little bass. So I honestly don't know that it's a little bass until I, until I catch them and it happens to fly out of the water. But the ones that I see visually, and I know they're small, you guys will notice that my hook sets are a lot more gentler because I could see it. So hopefully I, I, I address those, uh, that concern on some people that were asking is like, why do I set the hook so hard on little fish? So what's happening, it's a game like a game of cat and mouse. So I'm swimming the swim bait on top of the water. Bass come, I can see the wake, they hit it. They don't grab it. 
they let it go. I kill the swim bait, let it go down slowly, and then they're grabbing it again. So it's, again, I, cat, I, I call it a game of cat and mouse because they're, they're, they're like stunning it and then they, they go after it when it's, when it's stunned. So I don't know, let's see what's going on. The pattern for today is that I figured out that they're taking advantage of the shadows. So here's the question for the free charter. Which video did I talk about taking advantage of shadow lines? I didn't say it was gonna be an easy question. So yeah, that means you guys have to watch my videos where I discuss shadow lines. I didn't go into too much detail, but I did cover it. The first person or the first subscriber that could tell me which video at what time, you gotta give me the time code, which video that I mentioned shadow lines and the advantages of fishing them is gonna win a free guide trip with me out in the Everglades. Stick around. There he is. There he is. Oh, it's a nicer one out of the groups I've been catching. This is not bad. I'll take it. Hint, hint. I hit a corner shadow, and uh, that's where uh, that's where he hit the swim bait. There he is. There he is. Oh, chunky. I caught that one between two separate patches of reed. It was sitting right in the middle. Shadows. Oh, God. Man, what a nice hit. He caught me in a bad leverage position. <laughs> oh, man, that was a good one. That last fish was the first blow up I've seen on the swim bait. It crushed it right up alongside the this shadow line here. Crushed it. I just didn't have the right leverage. I couldn't step backwards to get more leverage, and it got me. That was a good fish. Oh, there he is. Oh man, I thought that was a much bigger fish than it was with that swirl. Fooled me, I thought it was a much bigger fish. There he is. Saw that wake. <laughs> that was a nice size wake. They're waking on it nicely. But they're little. I mean, they're putting all their shoulders in, into it. All right, gang, as I wrap up this video, I want to thank you guys for taking the time and watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. As you guys saw, the morning started off slow, but as the day progressed, the water got warmer, these clouds moved in, the bite became a little bit more aggressive and consistent. I didn't deviate much from the swim bait. Uh, if it's working, it's working. I did try different styles and different colors, and I'll talk to you guys about that on a, on a later video, but I stayed with it. All I did was change the areas where I was casting, and at the same time, uh, my speed and cadence also changed, which was resulting in, in better bites. So now, I know what you guys have been waiting for, and that's that free charter, the information for the free charter. Okay, so as you guys saw, if you saw, if you stayed and watched the entire video, you guys know that I asked you guys a very specific question. The clue is shadow lines. And first subscriber of, of our community who emails me the correct answer, you have to email me the correct name of the video and the timestamp of when I mentioned shadow lines and that individual win themselves a free four hour charter with me. You got again, look for my information down below and you have to email me the correct answer. The first subscriber of this community who reaches out to me within 72 hours with the correct answer, I will announce the winner and uh, we're gonna have a great time. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Like the video, share the video. Better yet, subscribe to the community now so that you can go ahead and win yourself that free four hour charter as you look through my uh, video archives for the answer. So take care, guys. See you again soon.